if you just remember the musical scale, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do, if you take the frequency Do as a mathematical frequency, so like C is, I think, 256 hertz, so 256 cycles per second, that same frequency, if you multiply it over and over again mm. by itself, will eventually le reach the light frequency, which I believe is the color green. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the sound do, that vibrational frequency, if you multiply it by itself, just like, you know, 10 times 10, so if you take that frequency, multiply it by itself, do it again, when you get to the light frequency range, it's red light. Mm -hmm. And if you take ray, it becomes orange, me becomes yellow, fa <coughs> becomes green, so becomes blue, la, indigo, t, violet. Mm -hmm. And there's your rainbow. <coughs> and that in metaphysics or uh, native traditions is called the rainbow bridge. That's the bridge between the world of the subtle and the world of the gross. Or if you want to say it another way, the afterlife and this life. But energetically, you're operating on all <coughs> those frequencies at all times, and just this, like all aspects of the rainbow are present, whether you can see them or not. And you were saying this frequency relates to the one of our root. chakra? Root yeah. chakra. Yeah. yeah, so look, just pay close attention. <coughs> just when you hit this thing, mm -hmm. where do you feel that in your body? <laughs> uh, I might be biased, but I feel like I feel this already. <laughs> well, you're not biased. You're, you're exactly right. <laughs> right? You were worried you're thinking with your dick again? <laughs> right? So, if you just feel what happens right around your sacrum... ...and your feet all the way through your legs... Feel that? Now, stay right there, and we'll do something slightly different. So this will be a higher frequency. Okay. Right? So just pay close attention. Feel this. See how that's way up in the chest and the head? Definitely yeah. is. Okay. So guess what I just taught you? I just taught you the basis of how sound creates emotion. Mm -hmm. And that's why when you're listening to a great singer sing, like a Mariah Carey who can go from all the way up there, she can play all of your psychic centers. Wow, I've always wondered about that. That's why a singer that can do multiple octaves is a very powerful person to listen to because they have acts, they can <clears throat> vibrate you at different levels of your being. Wow. But if someone's you ever talked to someone who's very monotone or listened to a teacher that's yes. monotone, today we're going to talk about mathematics. Nothing. Well, after a few hours, you're just dead. Huh. Because it's kind of like a guitarist who only plays with one string. You're like, would you please do something with those other six strings or five strings or 11 strings or whatever you got? So when a person's emoting or expressing themselves or when they're exercising, for example, if you're doing a deadlift, the action center for the deadlift is your pelvis. Mm -hmm. That's where the greatest number of large muscles attach to, and the pelvis is linked into the first and second chakras. Mm -hmm. So that type of lifting energizes a person's root energy mm -hmm. and has the capacity to help create a sense of safety and security in them because as you grow more strength and more harmony through exercise in any given region of the body, you actually experience that sense of stability within yourself psychically. For example, if you work on a construction site, you got to lift heavy, you know, tools and cement and cases of nails and all sorts of stuff, don't you? Well, if you can't pick up a box of nails, mm -hmm. and that's your job because your back hurts, doesn't that make you feel insecure? So if I take that person into the gym, mobilize their spine, get it working properly, and over the course of a couple of months teach them how to do deadlifts and get their strength back up so they can lift at least their body weight or one and a half times body weight, 
can you see how now when they go to work they have a lot greater sense of inner safety and security mm -hmm. and the exercise actually harmonizes them with their environment but it also harmonizes them mentally and emotionally because as the body comes online and it can interface with the environment, so too does the psyche interface with the environment safely. Interesting. But the key thing too is that that same person <laughs> with that spinal injury, believe it or not, that very vibration would help heal that injury. Yeah, I've always, it was one thing I was curious about recently, is like, why does music affect us? Like, what, music can actually give us energy. That's but we're right. not actually, and it was boggling me because we're not actually taking in anything like caffeine, you can take in and all of a sudden you feel stimulated. Yeah. Alcohol, you feel stimulated, but you're actually consuming something. Music, I think what he's taught us there is uh, the music, the different frequent frequencies can actually activate different chakras in our body. Right, energy centers. And I never knew that. So there you go, that's pretty cool. And the thing is, is you are taking the music in. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to ignore somebody take me. sitting next to you having an argument? at a restaurant. Yeah, that's right. It's very hard. It actually takes a lot of energy to ignore them, doesn't it? It does. If if that vibration touches you, mm -hmm. it's in you. Mm -hmm. Right? So when you're listening to someone sing, if they're good, you <laughs> open your field to them. When you hug somebody, mm -hmm. if you love them, don't you open yourself to them? Yeah. You take them in. When you make love to someone, you take them into yourself. You breathe them in. You. <laughs> Whatever way you want, whatever they're up for, right? So you literally take them in. But music is taken in through your sensory apparatus, through your ears. It vibrates your skin. Even if you had no ears, you could still feel that. Isn't that vibrating you inside? It is. Then you're taking it in. Vibrating. Okay? So now, listen carefully. You guys, I know, know enough about history. If you heard, if you were walking... If it was a hundred years ago and you were walking out in the woods and all of a sudden you heard this. That'd be pretty scary. <laughs> exactly. That, Frightened. That's Frightened. a war. That's a war song. Uh, that I, means we're getting ready to kick some ass here. And you see, you've never heard that song no. before, but you know the sound and the energy of that is. So, you either dress up and get ready to kick ass, or you run like hell, right? right. Yeah. But, at the same time, if you heard... Does that make you want to go see what's going on? Hey, there is a party over there! I'm invited. I smell some herb! Hey, uh, we'll go play too! If you heard the war song, what would you be eating? To prepare for that war. Blood. <laughs> right? Blood. That's yeah. I, was, I was thinking about bison when I heard that song. Yeah, there you go. And that, and that is a buffalo I was skin. Not going to get some. And it, there is. There's the bison. We're getting a lot of bison. Right? But what would you do? Maybe some tea. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe like some dancing fairies. Yeah. Your girl's not dressed with many clothes on. Yeah. Maybe. Dancing around barefoot around the fireplace. So here's a simple way to apply what I just taught you. If, how do people stand when they're depressed? Probably head rounded, down. head down. So that closes off their third chakra, mm -hmm. personal power, self will, closes off the heart chakra, which means to include, right? Mm -hmm. To love is to include. So all you're going to do with a person like that, if they want help, is lay them over a Swiss ball or have them do a yoga pose that opens the mm -hmm. chakra. Mm -hmm. And the physiological reaction of stretching those energy centers, stretching those meridians, opens the psyche. And you'll see, I've taken people that were clinically depressed and in 10 minutes of laying over a Swiss ball and just breathing deeply through their nose and relaxing their diaphragm and b belly breathing gets up and they don't even feel depressed at all anymore. And they actually sometimes say, geez, I can't believe I was so depressed. What's wrong with me? Are you depressed? Those are the same people that get put on drugs. Yeah. All you need to know how to do is sing. Right? Wow. So, watch this. Ready for a little root chakra healing? Okay. You gotta ready. do this with us. We're gonna do the sound DO. So just go big do. breath in. <laughs> DO. do.
Feel that pulling you right into the earth? Yeah. Now watch, we'll go to the top, we'll go to the seventh, which is T, it's a high T. It's a, you gotta, we'll practice for a second. You should feel the top of your head vibrating and the energy coming up. You can slide the T up and down. They're too tight, man. <laughs> Choking you up. <laughs> so you notice that the vibration's way up in the I head now. Yes. Okay, so <clears throat> just go me like a big me, but try to center it right in your solar plexus. <clears throat> big breath. Me. Now feel how your body feels when you stop doing that. What's it feel like? It feels warm. Isn't it nice? I feel pretty balanced. Yeah. So that's the center of mm. personal power and self-will. The color is yellow. The nerve plexus is the solar plexus, which means sun plexus okay. and that is in charge of digestion and what do you digest the sun what are plants what are animals encapsulated sun entangled light entangled. so the solar plexus is tuned neurologically to the frequency of the sun so that it knows how to break products of the sun mm -hmm. down and convert them into energy mm -hmm. so if people have mental emotional blockages or diet uh, you know, things they're eating that are disrupting the harmony of the solar plexus, they can't digest and eliminate properly. And lo and behold, it doesn't matter what you put on a vegan diet or a raw diet, it won't work because they can't break the food down. That's where you have to use therapies that will reharmonize the system. So just the way you got to tune a guitar mm -hmm. or tune a piano, I know how to tune you up. <laughs> and when you know how to tune someone, you don't need war and you don't need shitty drugs. Uh, actually, I did understand some of that. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you understand it, as long as you feel it, right? Yeah. So that's why I said, here, take the stick, hit the drum. You can't deny that you're feeling that in some regions of your body more than others. Yeah. And science can easily prove what I said. All you got to do is measure that frequency, get out your calculator, multiply it by itself till you get to the angstrom range, which is billions of seconds cycles per second and that's the light frequency and you'll find lo and behold that guy Paul check fucking telling me the truth every time